What's up folks, I'm Chef Dev. I'm Bombay Lemonade. Today we're making Guyana's national dish, of course. We're both Guyanese, we love cooking. What are we making? We are making pepper pot. <laughs> First thing we wanna do is we wanna talk a little bit about the dish, but while we're doing that, we're gonna be going through our ingredients. So let's take a look. These are the ingredients that we're gonna to use today. We got some stewing beef, oxtail, brown sugar, garlic cloves, Guyana thyme, cloves, cinnamon, a little bit of orange peel and some onions. And the star of the show, our beloved Kazrip. The Amerindians in Guyana would use this as a preservative. Bitter cassava is grated and strained and then boiled for a long period of time. And you get this result, a burnt caramel, molassesy, beautiful earthy, syrupy-like substance that's gonna add all the flavor and make it a traditional pepper pot. First step for our authentic Guyanese pepper pot, a little bit of oil in our pot. Our oxtail is here, oxtail, bone, mad flavor. Let's get some salt on it. Salt bay. Salt bay in the house, black pepper. Black pepper. Seasoning your meat, good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a lot of flavor. Season the meat is right. Let's get this in. Ooh, that listen, sizzle. listen for that sizzle. Color is flavor. I'm looking for golden brown on both sides. Sounds good, chef. Beautiful golden brown color on the oxtail. And now we're gonna come in with our beef and we're doing this in batches because we don't wanna crowd the pan. We don't want the meat to steam. We want it to get golden brown. The oxtail, the stewing beef, all seared off, golden brown, next step. We are adding our onions right into the pot. There you go. Nice hot pot, onions have been chopped and a little bit of salt. What does the salt do? It breaks it down, right? It'll help cook it fast. There you go. <laughs> Onions have been cooking now for several minutes. We can now add in our, our beef and oxtail. Beautiful. Yeah. When you traditionally eat this dish at home and mom makes it, what meat does she use? We, we, we vary. We use beef, sometimes we do lamb, but like I like pepper pot with them. Traditional. Time to add in some aromatics into our pot with the brown sugar. Boom, that goes in. Next we have our cinnamon. Next we have a key ingredient actually that we didn't mention before, but the weary weary pepper native to Guyana with our cloves. Boom, those go in, I love that. Oh man, flavor town. Guyana thyme for my cousin Natasha. Rub that between your hands like you would do fenugreek, kasuri methi. Let's get as much flavor as we can out of that thyme. Mad garlic into the pot. Next up, more aromatics with our orange peel. Super traditional. Can you tell Bombay is a bartender? <laughs> yes, you can. Let's get a few peels in there. That's, One more? Well, that's looking good for now. We can always add, we can't take away. Key ingredient, Kazrip. The star. Of the show, all of it goes Ooh. in. And now what we're gonna do is top this with water and let it simmer for a few hours until the meat's tender. And this will make sure that we have a nice low and slow braise. Just whack the. <laughs> just to cover the meat. <laughs> low and slow, a few hours. I've been talking about a bile here. <laughs> and the house smells so amazing. Uh, it's bringing back a lot of nostalgic memories of Christmas time. My grandma used to come over. We would all huddle around the pot and watch her make the pepper pot. And if she made enough, it would last till Christmas or even afterwards. And I know you got a chance to go to Guyana and you experienced pepper pot in the motherland. How'd that go? Super fortunate. Uh, a lot of family over in Guyana, so over the years, have been going there around Christmas time. And pepper pot, to me, smells like Christmas. Christmas smells like pepper pot. We have the orange peel and the cinnamon and the clove, and of course, the beautiful casrip. On my last trip, Bombay, I picked this casrip up from the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs. A lot of people buy casrip, and it says Pomeroon, but it's not from Pomeroon, right? So this is the real deal stuff, and we definitely want to bring something from our culture, from our identity, from our traditions, and the way we were raised to you. Most definitely. That's the real thing, man. <laughs> our pepper pot has now been cooking for approximately one hour. We want to cook this until it's tender, but the casrip acts as a preservative. So we leave this pot on the stove over the next several days and we'll reheat it every morning. This will fortify the flavor and the casrip is the preservative, which allows us to do this. So we're making this today but it'll be best enjoyed in a few days from now. Not only is the kitchen filled with the amazing smell coming from our pepper pot, but we also have a staple, some Guyanese plat bread that goes hand in hand with pepper pot. Beautiful. Now we're gonna brush it with butter. All right, so it's been about three hours and we're now gonna check on our meat to see how tender it is. 
So we have our piece of oxtail. Here's the beef. That's just fall. Look at that. Meat just pulls right apart. Gorgeous. Let's double check this piece of, oh, oh man. Yeah. So nice and tender, really little resistance. This is now the time, Bombay, that, you know, we're obviously going to say this tastes amazing, but we need to bring in somebody else. My Lele leak, so we got to see how good it actually tastes. We need to bring in somebody <laughs> who's well-known, somebody who's Guyanese, and somebody will tell us if this thing passed or not. Definitely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here you guys have it, the final dish, authentic Guyanese pepper pot with beef, oxtail, homemade pot bread. Bombay, how do we do it? We did amazing. It looks amazing and it smells amazing. This is something that is ready now to eat, but you want to heat this up for several days later. It's going to sit on the stove and we're going to reheat it every single day until Christmas time. We've tried it. We know it tastes amazing, but we need someone credible. We need someone Guyanese. We've invited a local celebrity, public figure, Lisa Chang to come. Lisa, come here now. I come in, buddy. <laughs> make room, make room. Thank you for coming, Lise. This is our dish that Bombay and I made together. Homemade pot bread. Please dump the bread, taste the meat, let us know. How lucky am I? This looks absolutely incredible, just like Christmas morning. Look at this pot bread, buttery, fluffy. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk this in what smells incredible, that sauce. And you let us know how that first bite is, because we were impressed. Mm. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can't bite your tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna try the meat now, cause you know that's what it's all about. Recipe is posted. Please give this a shot. But uh, you heard it here first. Oh my god. Yeah. Think fast. Think fast. Think fast. <laughs> that is so good. If you guys like this recipe, please like, comment, subscribe, give us all a follow because we have more exciting stuff coming your way. Thank you to Bombay. Thank you, sir. And thank you to our guest, celebrity judge Lise, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye.